a 360 degree video walking tour of San Diego Comic Con 2019. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. This video, it's a 360 degree video. What does that mean? It means you can spin the video around. You don't just have to be looking at me. You can look up, you can look down. If you're looking at it on your mobile device, you can just move the mobile device. You can click your finger and drag. If you're watching it on your computer, well then you can click with your mouse and move it to move the video around. This video is part of my series on San Diego Comic Con. I've got live streams through the exhibit hall. I'll have best cosplay. So if you want to see more videos on San Diego Comic Con, find links in the description below for all the content I've put out on this convention this year. But I'm bringing this video to you so that you can really experience what it's like to be in the convention hall. Sometimes it's really hard to understand the craziness or insanity that is San Diego Comic Con without really being here or being in it. But this is probably about as close as you're going to get without being here because you can spin it around. If you're curious what I'm shooting this on, I'm using a GoPro Fusion 360 camera. Uh, and it's shooting in like 5.6K resolution, so the highest resolution this camera shoots. So I'll narrate what you see as we're going on. So if you look to my left, you'll see the Warner Brothers DC booth. Right now, Lin-Manuel Miranda is signing there. That's why there's all these people taking selfies and there's all these cameras and bigger cameras than mine. I'm walking down the one of the middle aisles of the convention center of the exhibit hall. There are two major aisles. This is the back of the major aisle. In this video, I'm going to walk the length of the exhibit floor hall from the Funko Pop booth where I started all the way down to aisle 100, which is the equivalent of Hall A. The left is still the DC booth. On my right hand side, you'll see a lot more like anime type booths. They've got like cute little stuffed animals. Um, back on my left, there's a little place for the DC booth that you can take a picture in Pop's Chocolate Shop. You know, one of the things that I always think is interesting about 360 video like this is looking behind me, and I'm sure you'll see as I do this, there will be people looking at me from what they think is behind or on the side, probably looking at me like I'm crazy or they're wondering what this camera is. Well, hey, if you're watching now, you'll know. And you know, it always happens that people who watch this video found themselves in it. So if you watch this video and you found yourself, hey, let me know, tag it, drop the timestamp in there for yourself. Or maybe if you saw a famous person, right? People always ask Chris, what famous people did you see? And a lot of times when I'm doing videos like this, I'm just, trying to walk and not run into anybody Sorry, and uh, so that uh, then I, I don't I don't get to see everything but you do because you could look at any direction so on my right is the Funimation booth um, they've got my hero Academia attack on Titan uh, they always sell a lot of Japanese animation DVDs there's some cosplay on my left uh, princess princes are popular for cosplay obviously San Diego comic-con is like the cosplay mecca. Uh, a lot of people come and cosplay. Today's Thursday, so there's not as much cosplay today uh, as there will be on future days coming up. On my left is the Netflix booth for Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is what they're promoting today. Oh, by the way, and if you're wondering why do I have these headphones in my ears if you're looking at me, it's so that I can make sure you can actually hear me because I'm using a wireless microphone uh, to try to get good audio because this exhibit hall is really loud and busy. On my right is the Square Enix booth. They have a very large booth this year. One of the things they're promoting is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. To my left is the Marvel Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction. Uh, and they're going to be auctioning off a bunch of um, old, basically, movie props including here what looks to be a light-up remote control R2-D2 droid on my left. And if you're curious as to how much they think this R2-D2 droid will sell for, the estimate is between eighty to $100,000. So if you've, got, uh, if you've got just a few extra bucks in your wallet, make sure to get in on that auction and you can be an uber geek with your own R2-D2.
on my right. There's a booth by the Cartoon Network for Steven Universe, where they're doing some like uh, karaoke, photo op karaoke up on stage. And uh, to not pain you with bad singing, I'm not gonna linger around this particular booth. All that option, all that option, all that long. On my right is EFX Collectibles. They've got a lot of movie masks, so things from Ant-Man. If you want a Stormtrooper mask, uh, you can pick that up here. These are like really good Hollywood replicas, not like cheap things you'd get at Party City. And on my left is the Tamashi Nations Bandai Namco booth. They got a big thing of Godzilla. Actually, it doesn't matter which way you look, there's Godzilla on both sides. On my right hand side is the original Godzilla costume from one of the Godzilla movies about 20 years ago. Not the original Godzilla, but one of the Godzilla remakes. Uh, on my left is the uh, Brawly from Dragon Ball Z. There's always these lots of life-size figures that you can take selfies with because everybody loves to take selfies. A lot of people always want to see the Hasbro booth and uh, here we'll be walking along the back side of the Hasbro booth, which is probably less interesting than the front side, uh, but the front side's on the other aisle. so. You'll probably have to come here yourself to check out that other aisle, or if you'd watch my live stream that I did earlier today, you'll find the link in that playlist below. Uh, then you can see the other side of the Hasbro booth. Actually, they have like two booths, it's that big. Mattel's another one of those that has a big presence here. So on my left, this is kind of a neat one. Uh, this is Magic Wheelchair. This is an organization, a nonprofit organization to build magic wheelchairs for kids. So uh, you can donate to them and they make wheelchairs that looks like uh, chariots or Batmobiles or things that have candy on them, right? Uh, from, uh, from Penelope and Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph, right? There we go. Um, what are we coming up on? We're coming up on the uh, WizKids booth with the uh, NECA figures on my left. You can get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure set, $125. On my right, Toy Story 4, uh, Pixar. This is the, I think this is the Mattel booth, uh, or is it Hasbro, it's one of the two. But they've got Toy Story, they've got wrestling, they've got Mario Kart. And uh, here they've got Dino Rivals, dinosaurs, really big, Jurassic Park, all those things. So there's a big um, display of all these different dinosaurs. And then if you want to buy some Mattel items, then the Mattel booth that actually sell things is on the left. In the earlier live stream I did, somebody said, hey, Comic-Con just looks like a big mall, like a big shopping mall. And I would say the major booths that we just walked through, they don't actually really sell all that much. Most of them just show off future products or they do artist signings, but they're not doing a lot of selling. The selling happens in the smaller booths or like in the case of Mattel, they have one booth where they're showing off their stuff and then they have a second booth where they're actually selling stuff. And a lot of these exclusives, you have to get a like in a special line and you have to get a raffle ticket and you have to buy them early because sometimes they sell out of these things like an hour after the convention opens, which is really crazy. On my right is the IDW Entertainment. Uh, right now they've got Walter Simonson and Bobby Gurno currently signing from Ragnarok, Ghost Tree and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you like comics, it's a great place to come and meet a lot of your uh, favorite comic book artists. At the Funko Pop booth, there's Artists Alley, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to be live streaming through Artists Alley, so if you want to see some of the artists that are there, check out that live stream. Uh, it's in the Comic-Con 2019 playlist. It'll be the one titled uh, Artists Alley, San Diego Comic-Con 2019 Artists Alley walkthrough. This exhibit hall is so big, you know, I've broken up the walkthrough of it into a lot of different um, episodes so that it's not just one eight hour long episode. And frankly, I don't have batteries on my cameras that last that long.
So this part of the convention center that we're going through now begins the older part of the convention center. They expanded the San Diego Convention Center, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago or something to support Comic-Con. Uh, and so we were walking in the newer part and now this is the older part um, with these like pillars in the walkways. On my right's the Marvel booth. You can take selfies with this upside down basketball hoop right here. And uh, on my left is the Entertainment Earth Showtime booth. There's a lot of people here that are taking pictures. I can't, I can't tell who they're here for, but uh, there's clearly somebody famous here. Whenever you see a big mob of people, that's when you know somebody's famous. Maybe you can see them because I think they're they're up on they're up on top of the booth, up on the second floor up there. That's who everybody's taking pictures of. But I'm gonna keep moving. That's uh. One of the things sometimes people say they don't so much like about Comic-Con is that the security guards, they, they keep it, you have to keep it moving. You have to keep it moving. And if you, uh, if you watch my live stream earlier today, there was a security guard. I was just ending my live stream and she comes up to me and she's like, you have, you have to keep it moving. I'm like, D you're on the live stream. Do you want to say hi? And then at that point, she, she actually ran away. So uh, on my right is the Sideshow Collectibles booth. They have a lot of neat collectible figurines. I think Sideshow is one of like the major companies when it comes to collectible items. Uh, a lot of people in line here to, what are they in line for? Get somebody to sign something, take pictures with somebody. So as we approach <clears throat> aisle, this is aisle 1900 in the convention floor. Uh, we start to approach more of the smaller press independent vendors. Um, on my left is the small press section. So a lot of independent comic publishers are there. Uh, a lot of independent artists are here. So if you want to get your picture drawn by somebody, you can. I love when people see cameras and wave or give a peace sign. It's always fun. We're here coming up on the Peanuts booth on my right. Uh, they're always here with peanuts and Snoopy merchandise. I did it. I am the first beagle on the moon, so says Snoopy. All right. There's a lot of space uh, things this year, since this year is the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11. And actually, at this in the Snoopy booth, you can see they've got um, got a screen showing Snoopy in the zero gravity plane. That's pretty cool, right there on that screen. Now sometimes people call Comic-Con Line Con. If you want to buy something at the Peanuts booth, just on my left, we're passing the line. In this section where there's a lot of things for sale, because there's not really enough room at each of the booths, they line up people in the center of the convention floor. So if you're looking for a particular line, it's useful maybe to ask the booth, hey, where is it? And then you'll find somebody like this that has a sign that says like, this is where the line is, or this is where the end of the line is. And sometimes they cap the lines so that they'll say, well, the line's too big. You can't get in there right now. You have to come back when there's less people in it. In that case, you kind of just have to like cycle around, walk around and wait till you can get in it. The, the Toki Doki booth is a great example of that. We've got Dumbrella here on the right. I just think it's a great name. It's not an umbrella, but it's a dumbrella. This is a very colorful booth right here. Becky Frank apparently likes a lot of pink, bright colors. I like bright colors since I like yellow productions. Digitalpimponline.com. Joe loves crappy movies. That's what that sign on my right just said. We've got some cosplayers on my right from Game of Thrones right here. Mother of Dragons. This uh, store sells flags and capes. Of course, they're interesting flags, not just a typical rainbow flag, but a rainbow flag with Spider-Man on it. We've also got Alaska Robotics, which has pictures of fish. I'm not sure there's any robotics in there. And uh, people always say, Chris, where are all the comic books at Comic-Con? And we're coming up here onto uh, comics. On my right is Coastline Comics. This begins more of the comics section that are over here. And yes, Comic-Con is now a convention where there are more non-comic things than there are comic things. And uh, so there was somebody who was happy to be on camera.
And uh, this section, these are, I guess I'll call it fairly newish comics. There's also a section of the convention that has um, Silver Age comics or Gold Age comics, so you can get the really old comics. Those collector comics, comics that are, you know, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars. If you've brought your, uh, if you brought your rent check, or in that case, your mortgage check. Wow, this is cool. This is cool. This is this Genesis booth right here. I have to go into this aisle, which uh, this is like Godzilla, um, not Godzilla, King Kong, like King Kong crossed with a bird, something like that. You guys want to go closer? You got to be. That's very creative. We got some more creatures up here. It's a cat with like porcupine quills. Look scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I love when people aren't just quiet for the pictures, but they were actually scared of that thing. You gotta yell to get the real uh, look. <laughs> So more comics on the right. Most of these that I can see with an eyesight, if you're curious how much they cost, are somewhere between $15 to $50, so not expensive. Uh, you can pick up some ones that maybe you don't get at your local comic book store. Just on my right's all t-shirts. Just on my left is all plushies. So on my right is all Funko Pops. Funko Pops are obviously really big. At the Funko Pop booth itself, they sell new Funko Pops, but Funko Pops are big collectible things, and so there's lots of vendors that are selling the collectible ones. This section kind of begins like, I'll call it maybe the Japanese collectibles or Japanese anime. This guy right here with that cute thing on his head. There's a lot of just cute Japanese stuff, random collectible things in here. Um, it's getting kind of busy in this section. I'm gonna try to work my way through. This booth on my right sells a lot of onesies if you've ever wanted a like a pikachu onesie now you know where to get it or if you've ever wanted lots of cute japanese plushies without having to go to japan or a japanese supermarket or something like that you can pick those up here this is mondo that big line we saw four was here from mondo they've got a lot of uh, posters and prints mondo tea kits venom mondoid And this now begins the video game section. Uh, all the video game companies are here. In the back corner that we're approaching is Blizzard. Blizzard always occupies this little back corner. Typically you'll find like Capcom and UBI Soft. Nintendo's got a booth here for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, my left is a Summoner War. Some people dressed in some cosplay for that that you can take pictures with. Um, and then there's typically also a bunch of video game stuff in um, some of the other hotels. So now that I've walked you through the exhibit hall floor, the center aisle, there's also like if you like video games, because this is a pretty small section, check out the Marriott uh, and then sometimes the Hyatt where they'll have uh, additional video game exhibitions. So if you want to see more Comic-Con content uh, in the link description below. Find my playlist to my other Comic-Con videos, the live stream I did, things to know, a Comic-Con survival guide. Uh, and as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video. Oh, the next video might be what's outside too. You can check that out as well. I did one of these outside so you can see all the insanity is not just inside, it is also outside. <laughs>